month in advance. So today I decided I wanted to do a what in my handbag tag. I thought it would be like a really good thing to do because I'm going handbag crazy this season. And I want to share some with you guys. Anyways, let's get into this bag. But it's my newest bag. And this is the Michael Kors Jet Set Crossbody. And it is the um, LG Messenger Travel of the Travel Series in vanilla. I really like this Travel Series. As you see, it still has like tags on it. I have yet to carry it. And I was looking on Pinterest. And it even, a lot of people used to carry their iPad. But I have the older model, it might not do that, but it comes with its own little key thing. And I can't wait to carry it. It's just like, you know, you don't want to get white bags dirty. And I really like it so far. So hopefully I'll Instagram a picture for you guys or something like that. Uh, please comment down below if you have this bag. So next thing, as you saw in my um, Summer Essentials video, I'll put that link in here. This is my Michael Kors um, Jet Set Cost Body Bag. That's the name of it. And it is in the color Lime Green. I love this bag so, so much. I traveled with it a couple weeks ago. And it is absolutely amazing. It's like the biggest little bag you could ever have. I like that the chains are really, like, thick and stuff and the strap. Because when you're traveling, a lot of times people will try to, like, pickpocket. And they said metal chains help because they can't cut the strap. And, of course, this is a gorgeous lime green color for summer. So I really like this one. The next thing, and I'm just going from, like, my bag collection right here. Um, this is my favorite clutch. This is the um, Francesca's, um, I don't even know what it's called. I got this years ago, but this is my favorite party bag. Um, it does come with a crossbody thing where you can change it. So if I can find it, I'll put the links down below. The next bag is my monogrammed envelope bag. Um, one of my aunts got me this. Um, it's pretty simple. Just It's a wet wipe in there and like the tags and stuff. And it can be turned into a crossbody. I really like this for like album football games and things of that nature. But it was just, it's kind of not my thing, but it is. Like you only want to carry it for certain occasions. But I do like it. So I'll put the link to the Etsy shop where she got it from in the description bar. The next bag is like my Steve Madden, I think it's like just a shoulder bag. It's kind of glittery and stuff. Sometimes I'll carry this if it's like winter on a really, really busy day. As you can see, it's like really, really deep and stuff. And it has these side pockets. Now, this is a really good bag. I'll put the links down below. Um, Steve Madden. The next bag is one of my favorites. Um, I got this last summer from Urban Outfitters. It's from their BDG collection. This has the best chain ever. It's like the biggest little bag ever. It's not leather, but it's like it's so soft and supple. And all the pockets work, which is really cool. But sometimes you get a bag with like fake pockets. And I do not like that. I really love this collection at Urban Outfitters. Really good stuff. Um, I do have like shirts and stuff from them, but their purses are on point. Now I think this came in like white blue and black and I think maybe a pink color. If I can find it, I will definitely put the links down below. The next bag is my Miss Me bag. This bag is very, very fall because it is a brown color. It has the angel wings as well as the like, chain link down here, I think. I don't think that's a real force. And um, it does have pockets in the front as well as like a really deep pocket here. I do like the style bag, even though I don't carry it that often because most of the time I'm going to functionality as a college student. And this bag came from Miss Me at Belk, their Belk collection. So if I can find it at Belk.com, I'll put the link down below. The next bag is kind of like a family heirloom kind of. This was my mom's um, Louis Vuitton saddle bag. And she, well, she has a bunch of Louis Vuitton, but like she did not like this one because you actually have to like do the buckle and stuff. I'll look on his website to see if it's there. Maybe it's like a newer version because she got this in like the 80s or maybe even the 70s. So that's just how old it is. But it is a gorgeous bag. Very tough. Um, the leather and everything is very, very supple. It's very, very deep. And I like how structured it is because, you know, some purses are kind of... I do like structured purses, and I really like the strap on this one and how thick it is, and it is great to travel with, especially if you're worried about people, like, grabbing your bag if you're, like, abroad. But this, you don't have to worry about it because nothing falls out, nobody can get in, and nobody can get out. So, it's always great. The next bag is just something I got at Target. This was actually picked up on a whim. 
but I actually really do like this way. It comes dual sided, which is really weird. I doubt Target ever even has this, but it's like just a dual sided crossbody bag. I think I did not bring one to college and I need to go with like a concert or something. And I picked this up and I really, really like it. And sometimes I'll carry it in everyday life. So if I can find it, I'll put it in the description box. And last but not least, this is by far the most important purse to me because it has so much sentimental value. This is my cry. It's not a saddlebag. I think it's called a baby duffel or something like that. It was a graduation present from my parents. And it comes with so many pockets. I love it so, so much. And I think I read on the website, and I think the lady who sold it to them said that they change as they age, but for the better. And I've had this for about two or three years now. It's like pockets on pockets on pockets. And even like the inside of the bag has efficient leather detailing. And even though I'm not a yellow kind of girl, I do love this yellow. And I try to carry this. I'll carry it on special occasions depending on where I'm going. But I love this bag so much. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll put everything down below. Um, please check out my last video, guys. They were really cool. I got some new editing software, and hopefully I can bring some more summary things. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!